The small bowel wall consists of four layers, an inner mucosa, submucosa, muscularis propria, and an outer serosa. By understanding the microscopic anatomy of these layers, we will know all the types of tumors, both benign and malignant, that can arise from the small intestine. The serosa is the outermost layer of the small intestine and consists of visceral peritoneum, a single layer of mesoepithelial cells. The muscularis propria consists of two muscle layers, an outer longitudinal layer and an inner circular layer of smooth muscle. Ganglion cells from the myenteric or Auerbach plexus are interposed between the muscle layers and send neural fibers into both layers. The submucosa consists of a layer of fibroelastic connective tissue. It is the strongest component of the intestinal wall and contains an elaborate network of lymphatics, arterioles, and venules, and an extensive plexus of nerve fibers and ganglion cells, or Meissner's plexus. The mucosa can be divided into three layers, a muscularis mucosa, lamina propria, and epithelial layer. The muscularis mucosa is a thin layer of muscle that separates the mucosa from the submucosa. The lamina propria is a connective tissue layer that contains a variety of cells, including plasma cells, lymphocytes, macrophages, fibroblasts, and smooth muscle cells. The epithelial layer is a continual sheath of epithelial cells containing villi and lining the crypts. The four main cell types include absorptive enterocytes, mucus-producing goblet cells, pan cells, and enteroendocrine cells, such as enterochromaffin cells. Tumors of the epithelium can include benign adenomas or malignant adenocarcinomas of epithelial cell origin, as well as malignant carcinoid tumors from enterochromaffin or Kolchitsky cells of the small intestine crypts. Submucosal tumors can include benign lipomas or malignant liposarcomas from submucosal or even serosal fat, benign hemangiomas and lymphangiomas or malignant angiosarcomas of lymphovascular cell origin, benign neurofibromas and schwannomas and malignant neurofibrosarcomas of neural cell origin, and benign lyomyomas and malignant lyomyosarcomas of smooth muscle origin. Submucosal lymphoid aggregates can give rise to lymphoma, most predominantly of B-cell origin. The interstitial cells of Cajal, located in the muscular layer of the intestine, can give rise to gist of various malignant potential. The four most common malignant tumors will be covered in part two.